Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to demonstrate the K Duo Brewer 3 Month Care Kit. Now, this care kit is specific to the K Duo and it retails for $25. Keurig sells three different K Duos. This is the one from Walmart, this is their other one, and then this is their K Duo Plus. All three of these K Duos have a place that you can brew coffee grounds with a normal, like, coffee maker filter and for a K-cup. So Keurig also sells a three-month brewer care kit for $14, and it comes with the descaling solution, rinse pods, and water filters. This one comes with those same things, descaling solution, four rinse pods, and two carbon water filters. But it also comes with these tablets, three of them. Now, if you do the math, you can buy this kit for $14, and you get everything here but the tablets. So the tablets, these tablets are $11. That's almost $4 a tablet. These are pretty expensive tablets. Now, it does come with an instruction manual. tells you exactly how to use it, and I'm going to follow these instructions and show you how to use these tablets in this machine, all three machines. So let's talk about the descaling solution. Now, if you ever wonder where the instructions are for the descaling solution, you gotta peel here. And once you peel there, there is a section for K Duo Brewers. Now, I have a video on each one of these Keurig machines on how to descale them. I show you how to descale them. This is called the Keurig descaling solution. And I show you how to descale them with white vinegar. You can choose either one. So this video, I'm not going to go into descaling each one of these since I have a specific video for each one. This video is mainly going to be dealing with these tablets. Rinse pods. I've got another video on how to use rinse pods. The rinse pods are for the K-cup side. You just put them in like a normal K-cup and you do a, a, a like an 8-ounce brew through it. And then it, it kind of cleans the needle side of the K-cup side on all of these. I've got a video, separate video on how to use the rinse pods. They recommend using the rinse pods once a week or in between flavors, like if somebody's brewing a tea and then a coffee. So this kit comes with water filters, two of them that look just like this. You gotta run them under water. You gotta soak them in water for 10 to 15 minutes to get the carbon dust out. And then you gotta run it under water for about 30 seconds. All three of these machines take water filters. And you've got two different types of holders. You've got this short handle. And you've got this long handle. These two machines take the short handle. This one takes the long handle. So it has to do with the water reservoir. See how this is a big water reservoir? You're going to put your filter in the bottom of this. And then you're going to snap it onto that black thing down there. These two K-Duos have a short reservoir. So you've got to use the short handle. Now, this is an optional thing. These do not come with the short handle. This is about $14 extra to buy. So I will do one rinse pod just to show you how it works. Again, we're just gonna put it in like a normal K-cup. You would do that on all three of these. Or right here. And then it says, do an eight ounce brew. So pick the K-cup, eight ounce, and brew. So you can see, you do get quite a bit of cleansing action in that lower needle and the upper needle and in the, the needle basket. Now this is a chemical, so we are gonna have to rinse this after this is done. We'll take the cake up out. Now this water might be discolored if you haven't cleaned this in a while and you may see some coffee grounds floating in there. So we're simply gonna take the, now we gotta discard this, you can recycle this, but we're done with the rinse pod. Check out my other videos where I show you how to clean the top and the bottom needle on all three of these. So you're going to, don't put a cake up in here. We got to do a fresh water rinse. So we're just going to close this. And it says to do um, two eight ounce fresh water rinses. 
That way if there was any leftover chemical inside that needle basket area, you're rinsing it out now and then it'll be ready to use. Okay, so we've got the K-cup side clean and now let's work. I'm going to show you how the tablets work. Here's the instructions. It says it removes coffee oils better than soap, biodegradable and fast dissolving. So the way uh, you can pause the video if you want, there's the directions, but I'm going to read them to you. Fill water reservoir to max line. We're going to pull the filter basket drawer, remove the paper filter, and we're going to put one of these tablets where the coffee grounds go. Then we're going to make sure the coffee pot's empty. And then we're going to do an eight ounce or eight cup brew on the coffee pot side. And then we're going to let the, let the water sit in the coffee pot for 15 to 30 minutes. And then we're going to pour it out, wash the container, and do a rinse on the coffee pot side. So originally, I thought these were going to go back here in the water reservoir. These do not go in the water reservoir. So make sure your water reservoir is full on all the machines. And they go right here. So we're not, we're not going to put a filter in. This one here, we got to have the filter basket in, but no filter and no coffee. And same with this one right here. This is where the tablets are going to go. Okay, so the tablets, the tablets poke out of the back real easy. There is a lot of, so that's what they look like. And I'm just going to put the tablet right there. I'm going to get the second tablet. We're just going to put it right in this one right there. And the third one right there in this in this basket here we're going to close all the baskets make sure you get them all nice and closed now we need to run water on the coffee maker side we're not going to be doing the k-cup side so on this one we turn it on we press the coffee maker side we do eight cups and brew same with this one make sure it's on eight cups and brew and same with this one cups eight and it brews. Make sure your coffee pots are empty. So you'll notice the water is blue that comes out. We're not gonna be able to see it in this one, but we can see that it's brewing. And the water is blue. So it's probably going to help remove, if you've got any dark uh, coffee stains in the bottom of your coffee pot, it's going to help remove those. And it's going to clean that filter basket area. So we can see down there that the tablet is dissolving. I'm not going to be able to open this one up. This is the only one I can open up to kind of see what we're, what's going on. So this does not interact with the water reservoir at all. The water reservoir you can just kind of clean with a brush and soap and water. And this tablet does not go inside the machine. It's simply being brewed right here and going right into the coffee maker. Okay, we can lift the lid. So the tablet's pretty well dissolved. I'm sure that's what's going on inside this one and this one. Well, we can see this is a pretty harsh chemical. So again, we're gonna let it soak for 15 to 30 minutes when we're done. And then when we're all done, we wanna rinse this really good. Wash this out with soap and water. And we're gonna do some fresh water rinses through the coffee maker side. So these K-Duos are pretty complex machines. I do recommend staying up on top of the descaling rinsing pods um, these things do need some maintenance on them you cannot just continue to use them they've got a pump inside a heating element very good machines but they do need to be taken care of so i do recommend you know this three month brewer kit is kind of expensive and those tablets are kind of expensive i might i might do this care kit and then every six months maybe do the tablets I do know this one gets quite a few stains on the inside. That stainless steel on the inside um, stains real easy from the coffee if you leave it in there too much. So I'm pretty sure that this liquid's probably gonna clean that really well inside. 
So the one thing it doesn't mention, so after these two are done brewing, you know, this hot plate's gonna stay on. It doesn't say whether to keep the hot plate on or not. You can manually turn the hot plate off up here by turning the machine off and holding that button. But um, I'm not sure what the best result, you know, you might get better results if you do leave it on, like the warming plate on, but I'm gonna turn the warming plate off and just let it soak for 15 minutes. Okay, so we're getting towards the end of the brew. Let's take a look up here. Yeah, it's pretty well, it's all dissolved. And the only way you know this one is still working is that brew lights on that half moon. That'll go out when this is done brewing. These are, it's kind of obvious to tell when it's done brewing. This will turn red and same over here, the warming plate. Okay, so see how this turned red? That means the warming plate's on. Again, the instructions don't say whether to leave the warming plate on or not. I'm gonna turn it off. So I held that button until it went off. And same over here. This turned red, indicating the warming plate's on, like you wanted to keep your coffee warm. I'm gonna hold the button and turn it off. So let's see how it did. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. So I am gonna take all of these out. I'm gonna take these over to the sink. I'm gonna wash them out with soap and water. You know, get this really nice and clean. And same with this. And again, I'm gonna let these soak. So this, this machine does not have a warming plate. So we can take a look inside. Yeah, and there's the same solution inside it. Just let it sit. Okay, I washed these out with soap and water. Now we gotta put water back in our reservoir. Let's fill our, all of our water reservoirs up to the maximum line. Okay, I got my water reservoirs filled up. Got my filter baskets all back in. Now one important step, this one's hard to miss. Make sure you empty the water out of here. And we're gonna wash these out, all these out with soap and water. That seems like a pretty harsh chemical. So I'm gonna take these to the sink, rinse them out with soap and water and get them all ready to go and put them back in. And it does help to kind of just swirl it around a little bit because you may have some coffee stains up here too that'll help dissolve those. And this water may be, if you've got a lot of coffee stains, this water may be kind of a darker color than it is now. These pots were in pretty good shape. This one, the, water, the blue was a little discolored because it had some coffee staining in there. So the instructions really don't tell you to do a rinsing brew. They just tell you to wash everything with soap and water. But I'm going to go ahead and do a I'm going to do a fresh water brew. I don't have anything in here. These are all nice and clean. I just want to run some hot water through here and kind of, kind of clean it all up. So let's do a coffee maker side. Let's do another eight ounces. Or you could do 12 ounces. Just do a full pot of coffee. Coffee pot, eight. Coffee pot, eight. You know, this will just kind of guarantee that everything's kind of nice and clean. So I do think those cleaning tablets will dissolve some of the coffee stains you get in your on your in your plastic and your basket and that. So I actually do recommend this. It does seem a little expensive, but uh, regular cleaning of a coffee maker is important. And a lot of times soap and water can't take away the coffee oils and stains. So this chemical does look like it did a good job of removing those stains. Again, check out my other videos where I do the descaling on all of these. That, that is also important to clean the inside of the machine and the heating element. If you've got any questions on this three-month care kit, leave them in the comments down below. I'll try to answer them as best I can. Thanks, everybody, for watching. And if you could, please like and subscribe.